Hello. Um, welcome. My name is Kahlo Neil, and this is my podcast. Um, I'm reviving, rebooting, uh, bringing back to life um, this podcast called The Art of Conscious Living. Um, it was a podcast I attempted to start back in, I want to say, 2020. Um, I think it was during COVID lockdowns. And it was around November, um, because I remember the first podcast I did was around the Celtic, the Gaelic festival of um, Samhain, or Halloween, as it's known now. Um, and I remember riffing on Samhain and death and transformation and changing of the seasons for for like an hour. Um, and I did a second one on the difference between aloneness and loneliness. And these are just contemplative conversations I was having with uh, myself, I suppose, but uh, just sharing internal insights and lessons um, that I've um, come across in exploring these uh, topics for the last seven or so years. And I'm reviving this podcast because it it's something one is something I've always wanted to do is uh have a podcast um I love the form I love the I love how similar it is to our ancient oral um tradition of teaching um our ancestors and the druids never wrote anything down it was all um through spoken word and memory um that um the teachings were stored and we're seeing a revival of interest and curiosity about the old ways and the old traditions and um the way of nature um in Ireland right now and across the the British Isles, uh, Scotland, Wales, England, and and further afield, um, into the Irish diaspora, um, around the world. And so this is the form that feels most correct uh, for me to engage with. Um, I know I've written blog posts um previously and I enjoy writing or I have enjoyed writing in the past but um I think last year I wrote only two blog posts um just the inspiration wasn't there um with them so I I envisioned this um re-sparking and opening up my creative uh pathways um they're still alive i just feel like it's time to give them a channel for expression um so this is just going to be an introduction um or reintroduction um to to my podcast and my intention for uh for this podcast is to speak into share insights and um educate i guess um around three systems that i've been diving really deeply into for the past 7 years one of them being the Irish spirit wheel 
or the wheel of the year. Um, which briefly is the calendar of the eight harvest festivals, the four fire festivals um, in bulk, which we're in the port love right now, Bialtana, which is in May, Lunasa, which is in August, and Samhain, which is November, which I was mentioned earlier. And then we have the four um, other festivals, the two equinoxes and the two solstices. So the day of the day, the longest day and shortest day of the year, and then two days of equal night and day. And this is a calendar that our ancestors used um, for the harvest, uh, knowing when to plant and sow and reap and um it was also based on a 13 lunar uh month uh the word month comes from moon month um and there was, used to be 13 moons of 28 days and there was an extra day outside of time um one day outside of time and so that would mean there is 13 months of four weeks, exactly. And this, they, this track, the lunar, um, the lunar cycle. So you can see an interjection between the solar and the harvest with the longest and shortest days in the equinoxes. And then the lunar and the balance of the masculine and feminine principles. Um, <clears throat> so that's one system I've been contemplating and integrating deeply into my awareness over the last number of years and something that I've begin, begun to um, share and speak about um, both in one-to-one -one containers and um, later this year I will be given a workshop um, as part of a tour on the Irish spirit wheel. So I, yeah, I intend to share more about that as we go um, in, in this podcast. The other two systems uh, the second one is kind of two systems they're kind of sister brother um, connection between them and that's human human design and the gene keys if you're familiar with them you'll know what I'm talking about and if you're not a brief synopsis of them is that they're a one a profiling system of our personality and our character and our design our internal blueprinting um our energetic blueprinting um they're a science i suppose of differentiation of our authentic true self and our not self are the terms that are used in it. I came across human design in about six years ago and the gene keys, at, I want to say three years ago, maybe four. And They're incredible tools. They're incredible tools. Really deep information. Some of the deepest information um, in terms of awakening and coming to know oneself and understanding universal principles uh, via the 64 hexagrams 
of the Chinese I Ching, which is a divinatory text um, from roughly 3,000 years ago, um, which contains 64 archetypes or universal energies or principles um, that we can study and essentially align ourselves towards their cosmic principles of harmony. And through our profiling system, quite briefly, um, without getting too deeply into it, based on the time we're born and the position of the planets, uh, we're getting into a bit of astrology here, based on time we're born and the position of the planets, as well as the position of the planets 88 degrees before we're born. So that's our unconscious self. Um, we are imprinted with this 24, if not 26, um, of the 64 archetypes. And they could be of any variations you can have some of them multiple times and um so we'll have some and we won't have others um that provide definition for our character and our personality and don't worry if you're not following this or understanding this um just yet i'll be diving deeper into it at some stage um this again it's a deep area even just for me personally is astrology um very much ties into the ancestral tradition here in ireland um my ancestral tradition um the love of stars and nature as a whole and wanted to understand these these cosmic forces and also wanted to understand people and human nature Yeah, so I don't want to go too much deeper than that um, right now. It's just a brief synopsis. I hope you're able to follow that. Um, I will be doing more videos on it um, or podcasts on it. Um, so for now, it's a profiling system, human design, the jinkies. It's a synthesis of many traditions, including the I Ching, astrology, Kabbalah, contemplation, um shamanism um with the dream arc uh codex and yeah an incredible tool to to work with people on if you're interested in personal development self development um and living out your authentic true self true life I've had a bit of a revelation recently about the accuracy of the traditional human design and gene keys systems, which I'm not going to dive into here, but it's just to tee that up uh, for a later episode. The third system that I'm fascinated by and have had um, quite a few insights around is Bitcoin. And <clears throat> some of you might hear Bitcoin and um, things like, oh, it's ruining the planet or it uses up way too much energy or it's used by criminals or um, for nefarious activities and you know, or even the word cryptocurrency 
sounds very fishy and you know um all that which i understand um and i suppose this falls under money in general i'm curious about money um it's a fascinating topic and subject and one that we're not taught a lot of um or about i mean i did economics in secondary school and i still didn't understand <laughs> that money after it um so yeah about two years ago i dove down the bitcoin rabbit hole and um the money rabbit hole and it's certainly a rabbit hole that connects a lot of other rabbit holes if you know what i mean um but for me briefly and shortly it's a Bitcoin is a way towards liberation. It's a way of sovereignty. It's a way of owning property. It's a way of taking responsibility for one's own property, for one's own life. It encodes i suppose the principles of supply and demand um perfectly and it's a way of interacting peer to peer without any third party institutions like banks or card processing payments um and yeah it has a lot more uses and there's a lot more to it than just that um but it's a big area of interest and i love sharing about it i love talking about it i love talking about money and fiat money and gold and bitcoin um in general so there are three systems that i'll be touching in on at various stages and sharing about and um i'm really excited um to be to be back doing a podcast and to to have space to to share about topics that i love and topics that i know are useful and know are valuable i can I've seen their use and value in my own life and in the lives of others that I've worked with and in friends that I chat to about this, um, these things with. Um, so yeah, if you're coming across this podcast and you know me, you might know me from various spheres I'm involved in whether it's hurling and strength and conditioning, uh, coaching that I do with hurling teams, uh, whether it's from tour guiding and being on tours, week-long tours with me and Noreen Noreen and Owen and Michal Asuluan, or whether it's through um plant medicine retreats healing workshops spiritual workshops and retreats um or it's through my um tallow bams uh business and company suing us um you're welcome you're welcome here uh and even if you don't know me and you're just coming across this podcast you're absolutely more than welcome here and i hope it can be a service i hope to stir up some <laughs> don't want to say controversy but get get people thinking that's my main intention i want to get you thinking uh mess with your thinking for a little bit uh around ideas and um share share insights around the art of conscious living um hmm.
so I'll finish on what that phrase means to me, uh, the art of conscious living. And it's a phrase that dropped in early in my process of awakening 21, 22, 26, seven years ago. And it was the name of my website for a while. And it was the name of the podcast when I first kicked it off. And the art of conscious living is, to me, the art of intentional living. It's about being sovereign. It's about being authentic. It's about being awake in the Maya, in the illusion. It's about seeing it's about seeing it's about seeing with the heart with our inner eyes our inner eye it's about seeing the patterns of the world how they impact us how they influence us, attempt to control and manipulate us. And I know that the strongest medicine or antidote to that poison is awareness, is awakeness, is aliveness. And it's, it's a lot easier to go along with the status quo. It's easy. It might be a quote unquote, hard life or challenging life or difficult life. But it's easy. It's a lot harder to to individuate. It's much harder to individuate. It's a lot more challenging. But it's worth it. To have claim an authority over your own self, your own mind, your own being, your own body. That's what it's about. That's what the tools and the systems that I just shared, that's what they're about. It's what I'm about. And if you're listening to this, it's probably what you're about or you're curious about it. You can probably see or intuit how a lot of the world is crumbling, collapsing. Systems are collapsing, institutions are collapsing, um, things are decaying, deteriorating. If you know what I'm talking about, this is it. This is it. The tides are, are, are changing. Those still within the status quo are going through a very difficult, very hard time. And it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Um, and even people who have a sensing of what's going on and can see it, it's very challenging. It's 
very difficult. Um, it's heartbreaking in a lot of cases, gut wrenching to see the the hurt, the pain, to feel the hurt and the pain, to witness the atrocities and um, abuse that's happening. Because or at the hands of people who are asleep, asleep at the wheel, think they're in control, think they're pulling the strings. But, uh, but they're not. So, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so this is an invitation. an invitation to learn, to to listen to yourself, not to me, not to anyone else but yourself. That involves a moving, a dissension. Everybody's talking about ascension and moving to the 5D and all the spiritual enlightenment stuff that brings us up and out of the body. No. It's downwards into the body. It's mm. yeah, it's downwards and into the body, it's into our cells, it's into our bones, it's into our nervous system our blood that's where that's where all these insights lie that's where your inner knowing lies your your guru for lack of a better term lies it's your inner authority it's in your body it's not in your mind it's not outside of yourself it's not somewhere up in the sky um, it's not up there it's not out there it's not up in the mind it's not in the ego it's not anywhere else but uh, but inside of you and that sense of embodied empowerment to make your own decisions, to be sovereign in your choices, to be awake to your choices and your patterns, that's, that to me is the art of conscious living.
as the art of being alive. So with all that said, um, welcome to the Art of Conscious Living. My name is Kahl and most of my episodes are going to be like this. They're going to be um, contemplative, intuitive discussions with what's alive, with what comes up. It's how I work best. It's how I do what I do. Uh, if you'd worked with me, you know, I don't plan much. Um, a lot of it just arises in the moment. And through uh, response, the ability to respond uh, to to what's happening. Um, so I'm going to leave it there for today. If this resonates with you, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. If it's on YouTube or podcast or whatever, like it, share it, subscribe it, uh, subscribe to the podcast, uh, comment down below, uh, anything that stood out to you, um, any questions you might have on the systems that I spoke about. If it all went over your head and you don't know what I'm talking about, that's cool. Um, if it resonates, amazing. Um, but uh, so yeah, I'll leave it there today. Uh, hope you're doing well on this bank holiday Monday here in Ireland and celebrating St. Bridget's Day in bulk the time of initiation, uh, the time of coming spring, gestation of ideas and seeds of intention, the stillness and calmness before the bursting forth of life force and energy. Um, can feel it just beneath the surface, ready to erupt. Um, so yeah, Talk soon again. Uh, that's it for today. Peace.